Hello everyone, today I want to share my Shiori build and team compositions with you in the short guide. As always, I start with the build, then go over teams and at the end show some of this gameplay. Let's mind the side effects. Remember, help. Your life is mine. The first thing you should probably do is go to your dressing room, switch out the wing glider to anything that isn't the default one to get the benefits from her passive skill for the extra movement speed bonus. Shiori's build is actually surprisingly flexible and the main reason for this is of course her damage scales off both attack and defense. Now her skills are weighted a little bit more towards defense so it's a generally a good idea to focus a little bit more on it. But I wouldn't be too concerned about striking some sort of perfect balance. For example, if this build had like 1800 attack and 2000 defense, the damage difference would be fairly minimal. And aside from this, obviously the usual crit rate, crit damage, still your best stats and geo damage bonus obviously in her case is also great. I don't think her burst skill is super relevant so I don't really care too much about energy recharge and of course as a geo character elemental mastery is fairly useless. As for skills, by far the most important one is the elemental skill, definitely focus all your attention on this first. Then the burst skill, I would also advise to level it up, it's not super relevant, but if you mismanage your cooldowns, if you switch to Shiori and her elemental skill still has like a second or two cooldown, you can definitely use the burst skill to fill that gap. And the normal attacks, I think they are very underwhelming, yes she has a geo infusion, but Unless you want to play some like fun teams or you have C6, I don't think it's super worth it, so I didn't bother leveling them up personally. As for constellations, I think Shiori's actually look very interesting. Constellation 1 is a little bit of a damage increase for her elemental skill and most importantly it also removes the condition for summoning two dolls. So now regardless of a geo construct being present or using the geo infusion, this skill will now always summon two dolls. Constellation 2 gives you a very good reason to actually press the burst skill because now it also periodically summons an extra doll which actually seems to hit quite hard. Constellation 4 kind of builds on that, it summons more dolls whenever your on-field character attacks something and Constellation 6 it allows you to reset the cooldown of your elemental skill which is actually quite important because the dolls seem to have very little range so with this you can more frequently reposition them and it's also kind of like a built in noel c6 it allows your normal attacks to gain benefits from defense so with this they seem to also hit pretty hard especially if you have a shiori signature weapon i think uh, shiori can be a very good filler in like quick swap teams with the geo infusion as for our weapons, I think there are actually quite a few very nice Forster options for her. Of course, the Albedo event weapons come to mind first. The Cinderbar Spindle and the Festering Desire are really nice, especially if you use the Cinderbar Spindle though. I think the build should be a little bit more focused on defense because of this effect. If you don't have these weapons because they were released quite a while ago, then the fishing weapon from Fontaine is also really nice, the base attack is quite good and the 16% crit rate for the elemental skill will be quite handy for a character like this. But if you don't have it available or don't want to use it on her, I think the craftable weapon from Fontaine is also really nice. It's basically the opposite of the Cinnabar Spindle, this Juan just provides you with a lot of extra attack. As for artifacts, we already covered substats earlier. As for main stats, in this slot I think defense percentage is a little bit more favored over attack percentage but both are perfectly fine. In the next one, geo damage bonus for sure and in the last one, crit rate or crit damage whichever one balances your build out better. As for the set, I think Golden Troop is a clear favorite but you could make a very convincing argument for Husk of Opulent Dreams. If you already farmed this domain for Ito or someone and you already have a second set ready to go for Shiori, fair enough. But I wouldn't invest any more resin here just to farm for Shiori is what I'm getting at. I think Golden Troop is perfectly fine and it's just a great general purpose set which can be used by a wide variety of different characters. Resin spent on this domain is just way more valuable, it's a way better investment overall. Now for team compositions, and first of all, Shiori in my mind is very much a sub DPS, yes she has a geo infusion and at constellation 6 it might even be a very viable thing, but I think for most people that's not even worth a consideration, so I will very much focus on building teams around Shiori being a sub DPS. Now one thing I always mention when we talk about geo characters, 
geo-elementary reactions aren't really a thing. So if you build like a vaporize team, a quicken team, or especially a freeze team, you don't really want a whole lot of random geo application to make things inconsistent. You don't want a bunch of random crystallize. Now you can pick geo characters for random like mono element teams, like for example the Zhao team, he doesn't really go for a lot of elemental reactions, so if you play like Firuzen, Zhao and Chiori plus Zhongli or something, sure that might work, but in general geo characters mostly synergize with other geo characters. When thinking about the strongest Shiori team, the first thing that came to my mind was this Ito team, and surprisingly enough, it was also the thing I stuck with. I think it's very impressive damage and kind of great synergy. Ito defense scaling main DPS, Shiori defense scaling sub DPS, and with a two Geo characters, it only makes sense to pick Goro. Of course, he buffs uh, Ito's defense. I don't believe Shiori snapshots, so no defense for her. But obviously, everybody gets extra Geo damage bo uh, bonus from playing triple Geo characters with Goro. And then Farina. Another defense buff for the entire, uh, sorry, not defense, uh, damage buff for the entire team. And the, the great thing about Farina here is I think it makes this team really engaging and fun to play because usually Farina is just a sub DPS kind of, you just leave her in damage mode and pair her with another healer, but here you kind of switch between her modes as part of the rotation. What I like to do is use Farina first to use her burst skill and then use her healing elemental skill and then you switch through the entire team first um, summon the geo construct with ito then summon the elemental skill with shiori and then automatically switch to goro keep in mind that shiori needs to be placed in front of the character you automatically want to switch to in this case it's goro and then summon his buffs Keep in mind also his um, war banner or whatever it is, is not a geo construct. I thought it would be, but for some reason it is not. And then after you're done with Goro, you switch back to Farina, put her into damage mode to trigger crystallize to get geo resonance, and then you do your thing on Ito, and after you're done on him, you rinse into repeat. And really quick, some other suggestions. I also highlighted this team in another video. It's a kind of quicken team with Ningguang providing the Geo Construct for Shiori and Geo Resonance. And then we have some quicken between Fischl and Baiju. And Fischl also gains uh, extra electro damage bonus from the Akiak Petra set from Ningguang. And another one, really quickly, Ningguang works kind of well in this, but it's more so a Navia team, I just don't have her in this account, so think of this as Navia. It's double resonance, Geo and Pyro, Pyro because these characters all scale with attack, Zhangling, uh, Shiori and Navia, and um, Bennett obviously can snapshot his buff onto Zhangling, and then Navia can benefit from him as well. Shiori has one problem in this team, Navia doesn't have a Geo Construct. It works quite fine at C0, but she is not quite as competitive with Albedo as she would be with C1 here, where she doesn't require the Geo Construct. And another Geo main DPS who doesn't have a Geo Construct is C6 Noel. She can be quite a decent um, replacement for Ito in the Goro team. And if you want to, you can pick something like Zhongli to make up for the fact that you don't have a Geo Construct otherwise, or you again rely on C1, or just live with the fact that you won't have a Geo Construct and pick something like again Farina or uh, some sub DPS like Fischl or something else. And one last suggestion, like I said earlier, you don't necessarily need to play hyper carries that are Geo, you can also play something like Zhao or Nivellet. Nivellet needs to trigger a bunch of hydro related elemental reactions, so having hydro crystallize in here isn't too much of a detriment. And then with Fischl we have a second reaction, and then Zhongli we go for Geo resonance because these characters scale really well with it, they all deal a lot of direct damage. And then we also have Akiak Petra on Zhongli to buff either Fischl's or Nivellet's elemental damage. And then on top of that, Shiori also gets the, he, her um, Geo Construct from Zhongli. Now for the gameplay, Shiori is super easy to use. Like I said earlier, her burst skill isn't super relevant, so it's all about the elemental skill. You have two different ways to use it. One, you can press it into a normal attack, which grants her the Geo Infusion, which looks something like this. And you have the Geo Infusion, and that's basically it. And next, you can Press the elemental skill into the elemental skill again, which switches off Chiori to the next character, in this case it would be Fischl, and you also get the seize the moment effect, which means your um, geo constructs or your geo doors will deal coordinated attacks. 
and you get also this visual indicator so we do this and around Fisher you see this little flower icon or whatever which means the next uh, two normal attacks or whatever are coordinated are followed up with coordinated attacks from your dolls and you see it only lasts eight seconds now the visual effect is gone so it doesn't even last the entire duration of the dolls so you should do it quite quite fast i guess but yeah that's this um now let's summon our construct i have c1 so that's why she summoned two dolls anyway now let's just apply hydro and then do the first reaction and we also summoned Oz and he's already dead but now you would just uh, trigger a bunch of electro related hydro reactions to get Novelet running. And for now I'm gonna leave you with a summer abyss gameplay and come back at the end. Some of this. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this gave you some inspiration for your own bits. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun and bye bye.